In this lesson, we are going to learn how to solve a system of linear equations, that should actually say equations, by using graphing. So what does that mean? So let's say, for example, I give you two equations. Now these are just examples, okay? So uh, let's say y equals to 3x minus 4, and the other one is 2x plus 3y equals to six. So what we are actually trying to do is we want to know where do these two lines cut into each other. So as you probably guessed, it's pretty easy. All we do is we draw the first line. So maybe I'm just using an example. Maybe it looks something like that. Okay. And then we draw the second line, which maybe looks something like that. I'm not saying it does, I'm just using an example. Then if you draw it nice and neatly with a straight edge or a ruler, then you would be able to see on your graph exactly where the two lines go through each other. And so then you can read off the answer. You would be able to read off the X value and the Y value of that particular point. Hope that makes sense. So now in this lesson, we're just gonna do three examples to try to show you how this all works. So what we're gonna do is we need to draw both of these lines. So remember, the best way to draw these lines is to use the slope intercept method. And so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take these equations and I'm gonna rearrange them into the slope intercept method. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that six over to the other side like that, you see, so I'm gonna take that over then I'm gonna divide everything by negative three. Like that, because I wanna get the y value completely by itself. So that's gonna give us y, and then a negative and a negative obviously cancels out to become a positive, so that's gonna look like that. And then this part is gonna become plus two because you have a negative canceling out with a, another negative. So there we have it. So there is our first equation. Now, I'm gonna quickly take this equation and do the same thing. I'm gonna get it into the slope intercept form. Okay, so we're gonna say minus 10, well, let's take that minus 10x over. So we're gonna say 6y equals to positive 10x plus 18. Then we're gonna have to divide everything by six in order to get the y completely by itself. So that's gonna give us y equals two. And then we're gonna simplify this. If you type that on your calculator, it's gonna give you five over three and then 18 divided by six is three. So there we have our second line. Now it's interesting that these two have the same slope, okay? So there's actually something very interesting that's gonna happen over here. So um, if we had to go draw this first line, we're gonna go to positive two as the y-intercept. Then remember the slope is rise over run. So we're gonna go five up, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna go three to the right. One, two, three, and we're gonna put a little dot over there, and then you're gonna connect them. Okay, so something like that. So we've done that one. Now we're gonna go do this one. So this one starts at positive three, but now it has the exact same slope. So we're gonna go five up, one, two, three, four, five, and then three to the right. One, two, three, so it's gonna go there. Now, if you had to draw a line through these two, now obviously I don't have a straight edge or a ruler, but if you did, you would notice that their slopes are exactly the same. And what you would notice is that these two lines are actually never, ever, 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 ever going to cut into each other. Think about this. Well, they're never gonna intersect. If you have two lines that have the same slope, they will never be able to intersect with each other because they never, it's, it's not like the one line's just gonna suddenly turn. Um, so they will never intersect. So for this first question, we're actually going to say no solution. There is no solution. These two lines will never ever intercept because they have the same slope. And when two lines have the same slope, it is impossible for them to cut into each other. So here's the next example. Now I hope this one's not boring and it actually gives us a good answer. So step one, we obviously just need to get both of these lines into slope intercept form. So I'm gonna take the first one over here and I'm just going to take the three over four X over to the other side like that. Then I'm gonna divide everything with a negative. So we end up with Y equals to negative three over four X plus two, right? If you divide with a negative, then these signs are all going to um, change over. 
So there we have it. We are already in slope intercept form for that one. So I'm going to scratch this out and then I'm going to rewrite the answer over here. All right, so now we just need to get this one into slope intercept form. I'm going to do that in a different color. Okay, so we're going to say minus 4y, and then I'm, oh no, that's not a nice color. It's not very bright, is it? So I'm going to take the x over to the other side, and then I'm going to divide everything by negative 4. So remember, there's a little 1 over there, okay? So we're going to end up with y equals, now a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So that's going to become 1x or 1 over 4x. And then a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So that's going to become negative 2. So let's just go write that equation up here. Okay, so now we can go and graph both of these. So I'll start with the first one. So we can see that the y-intercept is at positive 2. Then the slope is negative 3 over 4. So remember, that's rise over run. So that means we're going to go 3 down, 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to go 4 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're going to put a little dot over there. Okay, and then we're going to connect them. I just figured I can draw accurate lines like that. So there we have our line. Let's just put this dot a little bit. Oh, no, I've actually gone a bit skewed there. Okay, so that's looking much better. There we go. Okay, now the next line is going to be this one over here. So it starts at minus 2, and then it has a rise of 1. So we're going to go 1 up, and then it's going to go 4 to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so we're just going to draw a line through that. And so there is our other line, or the second line. So now, obviously, the point of contact would be, you can see that they're contacting over there. So that would be an x value of 4 and a y value of negative 1. And so this here is the final answer. Uh, let's just write that down, 4 and negative 1. Here's our last example. So as always, step one, get your equation into slope-intercept form. So I'm going to take this y over to the left-hand side. Everything else stays where it is. Then I need to divide everything by negative 1 in order to get rid of that negative over there. So that's going to give us y equals, now a negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive, and then a positive 3 divided by a negative 1 is going to be a negative. Okay, so there's our first line. I'll just quickly write that down for us over there. Now we're going to do the second line, so we're going to take that 2 over to the other side. And so we end up with that. So that one has a slope of 1 over 1, and then this one has a slope of 6 over 1. So now we can go plot these lines. So we're going to start with the y-intercept of, let's scratch these out first. So we're going to start with the y-intercept of minus 3, so that's over there. And then it's got a slope of 6 over 1, so the rise is 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I just want to see that I've done that correctly. Yeah, that's good. And then 1 to the right, boom, and then we put a little dot over there. All right, now we're going to connect those. There we go, and now we need to go do the second line. So with this line, it has a y-intercept of 2, so there we have it. And then it has a slope of 1 over 1, so we're going to go 1 up, 1 to the right. Ah, so it's also going to go through that point. Okay, so this one I'm just going to quickly draw a line through. There we go. The point is, is that the place where they are going to intersect is this part over here. And so that's going to have a x value of 1 and a y value of 3. And so that would be the answer. So let's just write that down. 1 and 3.